I'm gonna teach you how to create gradient textures in Adobe Illustrator. These are very popular among social media posts. You might've seen them on stories or just individual posts. Hopefully you enjoy, let's get straight into the video. So once you're in Illustrator, the first thing you wanna do is select on the rectangle tool. So the rectangle tool should be on the left right here. You can hold left click to expand the menu or you can just hit M, which is the shortcut for rectangle tool. And you just wanna drag it over this canvas here. Next, you wanna select on the gradient tool and the shortcut for that is G. To make it easier for ourselves, we want to expand the menu so we can go over to Window, Gradient, and then here we have a larger version of this side menu right here. Now the two different gradient types I'm going to show you are Radial Gradient and Freeform. So let's start with Radial, so you can hover over this gradient slider. You can click anywhere on it to add a point, and if you want to change the color, you can double click and then select the color. To make it easier for ourselves, we want to go over to Window and Color. This way, once we select a point, we can just go over to this color picker and just choose a color. So this is a lot easier in my opinion. So usually the first color is a darker color. So I'm going to go with like an orange yellowish theme. So we're going to go for like a dark orange first. Then we're going to create a point next to it. I'm going to go for like a reddish color. So let's go for like a light red. And then I'm going to add another one that's maybe a lighter orange. So as we expand out, we're going to get lighter. And then lastly, I'm going to have the last point as a very, very faint yellow so something like this and then you can actually move these points around to make them bigger or smaller and you'll notice that the closer a point is to another one the more contrast there is between them so because these two points are right next to each other you can actually see this hard edge but as you move it outwards you can see now there's a softer edge in fact you can't even see the edge of the shape if it's easier for you you can also click on these points individually and just move them left and right to expand them you also have the option to make it taller or wider so if you hover over this gradient, you should be able to move it both ways. So the second method is using the freeform gradient. So you can select on the third type right here and you essentially start with four different points. So if you just assign a color to each point, you'll see how it turns out. And these four points can be moved pretty easily. You can also add extra points. So if you select draw points, you can just drop a color and move it around if you want. You can also adjust the spread of it by hovering and dragging in and out or you can just adjust the spread right here. So here we have like a pretty typical gradient. It's very flat. So what you can do is add lines, which are basically points that are connected to each other. So you can sort of like create weird shapes. So in this case, I added like five points and I'm just gonna edit the colors of each of them. You want them to be pretty similar to the points around them so that they blend smoothly. So here we have like purple. Here it's like near orange. So I'm gonna make it like pinkish orangish. Here it's near purple. So we're gonna do something similar. Blue and then maybe like orange, yellow. So here we just added more colors, but there's not any contrast yet. So if you do wanna add contrast, some people do like this flat look, what you could do is you can move two points close to each other. So what I mean by this is whenever two points are near each other, they sort of clash, especially if they're different colors. So you can see what happens when I drag a point close to another one. So if we just add something close to this line, so something like this, right? And we change this color to white and this color to like red, you can see that there's a weird clash happening here. So I would make like one or two points close to a line or another point. So here I'm just gonna change a bunch of different colors. If you do wanna make it less harsh, maybe just remove this white point and make it like a different color. Here it's a little bit less visible and shining. You can also move these points further from each other if you want like a more subtle clash. If you wanna lighten up concentrated areas, so areas that are like a flat color like here, you can just add white to any of these points. So a similar thing right here, you can maybe not add a white, but maybe like a light blue. Not only this, you also wanna keep in mind where the points are. Usually if there isn't a point in a certain area, it has a flat color like this. So you may wanna like move around your points so that it's more evenly distributed. So lastly, we want to go and add some texture. So there's multiple ways you can do this. You can find something on the internet or you can go over to effect texture and go over to grain. And here there are multiple types of grain. I would stick to soft or regular. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it soft and then I'm gonna increase the intensity. And then here you have it. You can check out our grainy gradient texture pack on our website right now. If you're looking for textures and backgrounds for your design projects, link in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed, make sure to check the end screen for a playlist of other illustrator tutorials just like this.